The company's revenue earned from selling X items is given by the function R of X equals 11 X and their cost is given by the function C of X equals X squared plus 24. We want to write a function P of X that represents the company's profit from selling X items. The profit function P of X equals the revenue function R of X minus the cost function C of X. So in our case, we would have P of X equals our revenue function, which equals 11X, minus the cost function, which is equal to the quantity X squared plus 24. Let's go ahead and clear the parentheses. We'd have 11X, and then because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing negative one to make sure we subtract both terms. So we'd have minus X squared, and then minus 24. For our final profit function though, let's write the terms in descending order. So we'd have P of X equals negative X squared plus 11 X minus 24. And now for the next part, we're asked to rewrite the function as a quadratic equation by setting P of X equal to zero. Remember, P of X is our profit function. So when we set P of X equal to zero, we're forming an equation where if we solve that equation, we can determine the break-even points, which will tell us how many items we would have to sell in order to make zero profit or break-even. So if we set P of X equal to zero, our equation would be zero equals negative X squared plus 11 X minus 24. And now for the last part, we want to solve this quadratic equation here to find the minimum and maximum number of units that can be sold that will result in the company breaking even. So let's do this on the next slide. We want to solve the equation zero equals negative x squared plus 11 x minus 24. And we're going to solve this by factoring. And whenever factoring, we do want the leading coefficient to be positive. So we can either multiply both sides of the equation by negative one or factor out negative one or if we want, just factor out negative. Let's factor out our negative one, which is going to change the sign of each term. We'd have positive x squared minus 11x plus 24. Notice how we distribute negative one. We have the same signs we had above. So now if this is going to factor, the trinomial will factor into two binomial factors, where because the term here is x squared, we'd have a factor of x and a factor of x. Now we want to find the factors of positive 24 that add to negative 11. And notice that negative three times negative eight equals positive 24, and negative three plus negative eight equals negative 11. Which means these two factors are the winning factors, and therefore we have x minus three and x minus eight as the two factors of our trinomial. And now, this product equals zero when x minus three equals zero or when x minus eight equals zero. So solving here for x, we'd add three to both sides, so x equals three or adding eight to both sides, x equals eight. So these are the number of items the company would sell and make zero profit, which isn't a good thing. They do want to make a positive profit, but for this question, this tells us that the company must sell at least three units to break even, and the company can sell at most eight units and still break even. So hopefully the company will sell somewhere between three and eight units so they can make some profit. I hope you found this helpful.